can make a musical instrument from almost anything that makes a sound. This thing is called Savart's Wheel. Uh, two styrofoam cups. The reason I use them is because they make a good sound. What's happening with this instrument is that these are little ridges. And when I hold this thing against the ridges, it gives the cup a little bit of a shake. On this one, it makes a very high note because ridges are going by fast. And it's making a fast vibration. On this one, not as many ridges are going by each second, so it makes a lower note. You could see a musical instrument as just a machine for sending vibrations out into the air. And vibrating means moving back and forth very quickly, right? So quickly that you can hardly even tell it's happening. You can't see it with your eyes, but you can hear it with your ears. And your ear can tell the difference between a fast vibration and a slow vibration. And the faster the vibration, the higher the note we'll hear. That's exactly right. So I blow through this tube and what happens is when this disc goes around, it's got holes in it that lets puffs of air through. And when many, many puffs of air are allowed through each second, that's a high note. And when it doesn't allow as many puffs of air through each second, that's a low note. It's called a siren. It's a musical siren. Here's another instrument. These little tubes have ridges in them. And when air rushes through them, it kind of bumps over the ridges and it can set up a vibration in the tube and then you can hear it in the air. And this is just a piece of a pop bottle. The pop bottle makes a little air chamber that allows the air to go into all four chambers. So here's another instrument. It lets the air through in little puffs and those puffs of air are what sets up the vibration. I make it by starting with a tube like this and I stretch the balloon over the top. When I cover the hole with my hand, it makes a low note. When I open the hole, it's almost like I made the tube shorter and it makes a higher note. And there's another hole right here played with a key. This instrument has the same idea, except instead of holes, it has an open slit running along the top of the instrument. That makes it almost as if it was a tube with holes all through it. This is kind of a crazy instrument that I'm doing it on. This is a little like a guitar, but it has this stainless steel mixing bowl with a little bit of water in the bottom. And if I move it like this, the water moves around and that makes the sound change while I tip it around. Now, you know, for a Kid Science Challenge, you don't have to send us a finished instrument. All you really have to do is send us a description, maybe a drawing, whatever you need to send us to make sure we understand what your idea is and how it works. Thank you.